Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today we're going to be taking a look at a redstone contraption that has got a very special place in my heart and of course that is the tiny 3x3 piston door. Now for those of you who don't know, I originally designed a blueprint for this around about a year ago and it went down extremely well. It was very small and also extremely quick and the community absolutely loved it. And over the past couple of months some changes have happened in Minecraft and I've had to provide a few fixes for the design and once again, it has bit in the dust. So I thought I would get to work on doing a little bit of fixing and this is what I've come up with. Now I think that's enough nostalgia for one episode, how about we take a look at why you're all here and that is of course this 3x3 door. So we just head down to the bottom, flick this lever here and you can see that the door opens up incredibly quickly so then you can head on inside, pick up your boats and hose and have a fantastic time without having to wait around for any pistons to do anything because that's just a load of rubbish, isn't it? But anyway, now we go down to the bottom, flick our lever once again, and you can see that the door closes up just as fast as it opens, so everything behind there is nice and safe, and nobody can see it. The next thing that I want you guys to notice is, of course, the size of this thing. It is absolutely tiny, at only 7x9x2, by by it will slot in pretty much anywhere. Now, I have to mention this before I move on. There is actually a smaller design out there by a chap named TT Lemon, who is absolutely fantastic at compacting down redstone contraptions, getting everything to a really small size. So if you do want to check him out, then there will be a video link to his video and also a link to his channel in the description down below. But the only issue that I had with his design is the fact that the opening and closing sequences weren't quite as smooth and that causes an issue with me because of course if I wanted to build it in my base if it looked ugly on the opening and closing people would be like mm, that's not that impressive so for that reason I designed this one where everything is nice and in sync but like I said that alternative is there if you need it and for anyone that doesn't want to build this design then there is a world download in the description below so that you can check that out for yourselves as well but anyway for those of you who are going to be building this contraption let's crack on with the tutorial so you want to get things started with a 7x2 area, pick your middle block and go to the back, place a double piston extender like that, then go two blocks up like this and a sticky piston there, take out those two blocks, place another block here and then another block facing in this direction like that, then you just want to place an L shape like this, redstone torch right here, a torch like this and then another torch like that with another torch there and then you just want to head down to the bottom and place a block down here and that is the starting sequence. Then you want to head down underneath this redstone torch and place a redstone dust here, take out this block and place a detector rail like that. Then you want to go down here and place a dropper facing upwards and put an item inside there and then a hopper on top of that. That will create a falling edge monostable circuit. Now the reason that we need this detector rail is quite simply to just defer this type of redstone dust because if it's just a dot it will power this hopper and that means that the whole system won't work. But anyway, now you just want to place a comparator running out from that hopper and a block down here that will then power up this piston. So if you put your two blocks in like this and then place down your lever, you should see that you've got your double block extension. So that will fill in the middle part of the 3x3. And then also we have the first block retraction and a little bit of the double piston extension. So this little circuit here is an incredibly powerful one and it works very nicely indeed. Now you just want to grab a repeater, set it to four ticks running into a block with a sticky piston facing in this direction here and a block on its face. Then you want to grab another repeater, set it to two ticks running out of there with redstone dust on the top. And then you just want to place like blocks like this with redstone dust in there. Now what you have to remember is that the bottom of your 3x3 door is going to be there. And will actually carry on all the way up like this. You of course don't have to add in this framework, but it's just a little depiction. So this is where your 3x3 is going to be going. And obviously this redstone dust is running into that block, which means it will power the piston that comes up to here. But now finally we just have to place a repeater, set it to four ticks running into a block with redstone dust on the top there. And that will do the second block retraction. So as you can see, if we give it a quick tester, we have got our extension and then also we have got our full retraction. So that is the hard part done. Now would probably be a good time to start adding in your pistons, so I would suggest just taking out that block and then replacing it and then you can place your three pistons on top of one another there. In the middle here we are just going to need a piston facing downwards, so excuse all of the temporary ones there, and I've even put it in the wrong place. So that is where that one is going to go and then on this side it is pretty much the same story, just some temporary pistons and then just them running up like this. All of them should have their faces against the blocks. 
Then you just want to grab a redstone torch and place it on top of this block here and then a block on top of that with redstone dust. You want to go up a block like this and then up another few and place down your redstone and then run a repeater into this piston if you want it to be slightly out of sync or if you want it to be with the rest of the door then you can place a block with redstone dust on the top but remember that is going to make it slightly larger so it's up to you. Now would probably be a good time to mention that this is what the framework around the door is going to look like. So you just run it up like this and then of course you can take out any blocks that you have placed and just replace the redstone on top of those. And you should see that it is sort of coming together now but anyway we are going to be leaving it like this or we could have it with the repeater like I explained but this makes it look a lot better in the opening and closing. But anyway now you just want to run that across along down here and then two blocks like this with redstone dust on top and then another block down here with redstone dust on top of that one and there we go that is your 3x3 three three all complete you can see it opens very nice and fast and yeah I just really like this design now just as a really quick heads up, most people prefer to have the front of their door on the opposite side. You can see this one has got most of the circuit, it's got redstone running across, however if you go to the opposite side, you can see you've got a very nice square, it looks good and that means that you can place blocks around it like going up around in an arch and it looks really nice and striking and this is the way that I would build it anyway. So you have to keep that in mind. Now if you do want the input to be on this side then it's very easy to do. All you have to do is go over to this side. This would originally have your lever on it. You take out this block and place a lever, uh, a redstone torch even, and then go down here and place your lever and you can see that it works just fine. So there we have it folks. That is your tiny 3x3 piston door done. But unfortunately that is all I've got time for for today ladies and gentlemen. So if you did enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.